Hello everyone, welcome to myonlineedu.com's video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll learn how to install Ubuntu on a virtual machine. And this time we'll be using the VMware Workstation Player as a virtual machine. So as you can see here, we are on the host operating system is Windows 7 and we have installed the VMware Workstation Player uh, already there is a video and the, the, the link of the video is provided below in the description. Uh, but uh, you can watch that video to uh, know how to install the VMware Workstation Player. But in this video tutorial, we'll focus on installing Ubuntu as an operating system, which will be the guest operating system uh, beside the Windows 7 as a host operating system using the VMware Workstation Player. So first you have to go to this www.ubuntu.com website and, and then you need to go to the download field here. So as of today, you know, there is a Ubuntu desktop that 18.04 LTS, the long term support version is available. So I'll download this particular version here. And as you can see, there is an ISO file. This is nothing but an image of the operating system, which is of the size of 1.8 GB. You need to save this file. But I already have saved it, so I am not going to save it uh, again. But it will take a, it will going to take a time to you to you know uh, since this is 1.8 GB uh, size ISO image. We need to open the virtual machine workstation player, and here first thing that you need to do is create a new virtual machine. You need to click on this option. So I'll just use this option that I will install the operating system later and here you know from the guest operating system select Linux because Ubuntu is a Linux operating system and here you will select the Ubuntu 64 bit. So there are two options Ubuntu 64 bit and only Ubuntu. So we will select the Ubuntu 64 bit option here and virtual machine name I'll keep it unchanged, but you can give any name uh, by your name or something like that. And also the location, you know, I'll keep it something like this. I'll keep it unchanged. I'll click next. So now it is asking about the disk size. So let me allocate, you know, 30 GB. Um, 20 GB is recommended, but I'm, I'm allocating more, you know, space because I, I might need more space inside that operating system Ubuntu or you can select the stored virtual disk as a single file and then I'll click next. So now here you can select see the options available and then you can customize your hardware settings here. So by default the 2 GB memory is allocated but, but I'll increase it to 4 GB. Processor, I'll leave it leave it as it is. And in this option, I'll now here we'll be in browsing through that ISO file which already we have downloaded. So this is the ISO file which already we have downloaded from the Ubuntu website. We are going to use this image. And then click network adapters. Everything is fine. Uh, and then uh, close this option and then finish. So now at the, the operating system Ubuntu 64 bit is appeared in your left side panel and just to make sure that our setting is correct, we will just click on this option edit virtual machine settings and our memory is 4 GB processor is a number of core processor. Let's increase it to 2. The hard disk is 30 GB of size. The image file is there and we'll click OK. And also there is an option tab here, which you can, you know, uh, see the options uh, over here. And then shared folder, we'll do it later on. But as of now, you know, we'll keep it like this. And then click clicking OK. And then I'm playing, play the virtual machine. So this will start the virtual machine. So now Ubuntu has started for installation. So a new option has appeared 
to software updates, you know, you can download and install. So this is basically nothing but a VMware tools for Linux. Uh, it's good to have it. So I'll download and install. So I'll keep it in a side, the software updates. So now uh, we'll select the language as English and then click install Ubuntu. So the keyboard layout will select the default one, English US, unless you need to change it. And also just test keyboard. So my keyboard is working fine here. So I'll click continue. So we'll do a normal installation and also the download updates while installation Ubuntu is by default is selected. If it is not, you can select. So I'll click continue. So here, what you want to do with your, with your the hard drive, so the by default it's erase disk and install Ubuntu. I'll leave it is leave it as it is, and don't worry that it is not going to erase your actual hard drive, but it is going to install erase the inst that is the shared folder that has been created for Ubuntu and install Ubuntu into it. So now I'll click install now. So I'll click continue here. So it's asking my location. So I'll say. I'll put my location here and click continue. So now before installation, you, we need to provide my name and the computer name, username, something like that is the name I want to give. Your computer name is, I want to edit it, something like my online edu vm and username is my online edu. And I'll choose a password. And I'll keep this option require my password to log in and then click continue. Now it is going to install the Ubuntu as a virtual machine uh, on top of the VMware um, player. And as you can see that uh, the software update is done. So I'm going to close this one. So this is going to take some time. I'm going to pause this video. So it's almost half an hour and it's still installing Ubuntu. Uh, so let's wait for some time being until its installation is completed. Okay, so now as you can see, the installation has uh, completed. So you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. So I'll restart now. I'll click on restart now button. So Sometimes, you know, when Ubuntu will all automatically um, come up, uh, but in this case, uh, it's asking me to please remove the installation medium, then reboot. So what I'll do is I'll close the VM player option and I'll click the power off. I'll reopen the VMware workstation player and I'll select Ubuntu 64 bit and then again play the virtual machine. So now Ubuntu is rebooting again after the installation. And it will take few minutes to come, uh, come up with Ubuntu. So there you go. You see that the, now Ubuntu is booting. So all right. So now my login uh, window has appeared and as you can see, this is the username that I set up during the installation. It's asking me to press Ctrl Alt to return to uh, my computer. So I'll click here and then I'll use the password that I provided during uh, the installation. So, okay, now you can see that Ubuntu is installed properly and now I, I can use Ubuntu. I'll click next. Now, don't send me the system information. Don't send the information. And I'll click done. So, so now Ubuntu is ready to uh, use. But if, if you see, there is one issue that if I maximize my VM player, VMware player. So my Ubuntu screen is not getting maximized. So let's see how to, you know, uh, resolve this issue. So first, uh, what you need to do is, 
you need to click uh, the show application button here and then search for terminal so terminal is opened so now here i have to type a command is sudo apt hyphen get install open dash pm dash tools okay as you can see now it's asking for do you want to continue i'll press y so it's install it's basically up installing that vm tools so now we need to run one more now we need to install one more um, uh, application by using the same command line but this time just put open dash vm dash tool dash desk top i'm going to press yes so this is installed now we need to quickly restart ubuntu i'll click the restart button over here so now basically ubuntu is restarting and once it restarts hopefully we will be able to get rid of that issue that if i maximize the vm where player window so the ubuntu screen also should you know maximize okay so again ubuntu has started so now let's see if that issue is being resolved so if i maximize the ubuntu is getting maximized fantastic so now it's now this particular system is ready for use again let's open the terminal and just write some unix command here so we are good to go thank you for watching